Shalom. We give it all praise to the Most High, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh by Shem, Rakat Yabash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, teaching his truth. And uh, Shalom to all the brothers and sisters out there who believe in this gospel, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh by Shem. Okay, it's your brother, Akaz Yawam by Yahweh. I'm going to bring a short lesson, just, just really just through the spirit. I don't, I didn't have anything really planned. I just going about my day and began to think on the Lord and began to just praise the Lord. So that's kind of where I'm going to go with this right now, you know, through the spirit, just saying that we, we can't forget to praise the Lord. You know, we're excited to see a lot of these prophecies come to pass. And Salaki is the, the, you know, this doesn't sound as as good as usual because I, I don't have the, the earbuds plugged in. I forgot them. But anyway, um, this is just going to be a short, quick thing. Uh, nothing real deep. Just saying that we need to continue to praise the Lord and give thanks to the Lord for everything. All right. Um, as I was saying, we see the prophecies that are coming to pass while we are here on this earth and we're excited to see the things that's going on in Babylon the Great, right? Where people are walking off their jobs because they're refusing to take take a poke. Um, you're starting to see the hyperinflation kick in as far as going to the grocery store. And, you know, you're seeing uh, a systematic disruption in the supply chain, okay? We're getting goods and what have you. And these are, these are great things. All right, for us who are in the truth, because we believe that our our power is working for us, right? Our Father Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is in the midst of everything, okay? And just as a as a as a basic as a basic thing uh, in this truth, don't forget to praise the Lord. And, and, and give thanks to him. You know, it's a simple thing, um, but sometimes you get, you know, a person may get caught up in emotion about what's going on and, you know, dealing with the folks in the street and so on and so forth. We give all praise to our power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, for watching over us, for calling us into the truth, for protecting us and our families, okay? All right, so I'm just going to get a couple of quick scriptures, you know, um, to read, um, just, just stating that fact that, you know, we praise the Lord because he's worthy. And as we continue to sing this new song, man, a song that the world cannot understand, okay, they can't understand it. And the more that we praise the Lord, the more he's going to do, the, 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 the sooner, you know, we're going to see this place fall all together. You know, the sooner the, we could get out of here. So without further ado, let me just jump into uh, a few scriptures here. Um, I'm just going to go straight to, uh, let's go to um, Psalms 49, 149, Salakia. Psalms 149. And I'll read the first few verses, and it reads, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Sing unto the Lord a one, a new song. And that's what the men of the Lord are singing. We're singing this new song. All right? And it's, it's, it's putting the world in dire straits, man. And it's a song that they can't understand. Okay? All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Praise ye the Lord. Sing un, unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of saints. And we go into that all the time with this particular uh, uh, chapter and psalm about who the saints are. Okay, going to verse 2. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Right, we're joyful in our king. You know, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Like I said, this is just something real quick, just something I, that came to me, you know. 
as we look forward to bigger and better things, right? The kingdom of the Lord comes. You know, we can't forget to praise him because he's worthy. All right? Let's go over to Psalms 81. And I start right there at the top. And it says, Sing aloud unto the Most High our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the power of Jacob. You see? Let's read a little further. Verse 2. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel and pleasant part with the sultry. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel and the law of the Lord Salakia, of the Most High of Jacob. You see? So our power, if we continue to do what we're supposed to do to the best of our ability, okay, the Lord is hearing us as we pray. And we praise Him for everything that He's done for us thus far. Okay? And Lord willing for that deliverance that's soon to come. Okay, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and I'm going to go over to Deuteronomy 32. Okay, and, and pull, a quick, pull a quick verse here. 32, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 9. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, right? And we're Jacob, you see? So let's continue to praise the Lord. The more we praise the Lord, singing this song and preaching his word, singing this new song, the more the Lord is, is listening to us and is doing more for us and speeding this thing up, okay? Because our deliverance is near. When you look at what's going on in the earth, all of the chariot sightings, like I said, all of uh, these political maneuvers, if you will, to try to get Jake to succumb to their, their, their wicked potions, okay? And then you got all types of activity as far as earthquakes and such. You know, we know that the time is near. We are near. Salaki, let me get another one. Let's go to, uh, hmm. let me go back to sound. Yeah, this is Psalms uh, 18, and it reads at, at the top, I will love thee, O Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, my strength. The Lord, Yahweh, is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Right, and that's what we're looking for is to be delivered from Babylon the Great. My power, my strength, and whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord, Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. You see? And that's what we got to do. Keep praising the Lord. Keep singing this new song. You see? Like I said, just something through the spirit. Something real quick. Um, and if we back up. To, uh, 2 Samuel 22 um, and I start again right there at the top and it reads and David spake unto the Lord Yahweh the words of this song in the day that the Lord Yahweh had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul and he said the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer just as he quoted right again in Psalm 18 right verse 3 the power of my rock in him will I trust he is my shield and the horn of my salvation my high tower and my refuge my savior thou, thou savest me from violence okay verse 4 I will call on the Lord the hour who is worthy to be praised so shall I be saved from my enemies you see that so that goes hand in hand with that scripture out there. We'll get one more with you guys. Like I said, I just 
through the Spirit, just asking the Lord, you know, what can I talk about? You know, I just, I just praise the Lord as I Joel chapter 2 and uh, just grab verse 23 and it reads be glad then ye children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord Jehovah your power for he hath given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come down for you the rain the former rain and the latter rain in the first month Okay, but the Lord is going to bring forth a bunch of blessings, man. You know, we don't know how soon, but you know, brothers are being endowed with spiritual power real soon because we're that close. Going on is it, it, verse 24 it reads, And the floors shall be filled with wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten and the tinker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. You see? So the Lord is going to make sure that we uh, repay everything that we lose on this side and then some. And so we keep praising the Lord and hasting. His coming, as the scriptures say, it has been coined by the head apostle uh, Tahar this year, okay? This year's motto is hastening the coming, okay? Um, I think pretty much that's all I wanted to get. So brothers and sisters out there, don't forget, as we see these things and we get happy about it, huh? let me get one more. And we get excited about seeing it, you know, don't forget to praise the Lord. Okay, and give him thanks because he's worthy. Let me go to, uh, this will be the last one, Revelation 14. And uh, I start right there at the top and it reads, And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their hearts. And they sang, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth, right? And those brothers out there who are working so hard, pushing this gospel of Yahweh by Shemya Abishai, okay, across the four corners of the earth. We look forward to that day, okay, that we be delivered, you know. Lord willing, we are part of the elect, okay? And there's no doubt that there's some, some, some brothers uh, here on this earth that'll be a part of that 144,000, you know. I, I, I can't claim that, you know. My thing is I just want to be saved, and if I make it, you know, be a part of the elect, you know, that's that's what I'm shooting for, okay? All right? So with that, like I said, just something real quick through the spirit. Lord willing, it was edifying and comforting to somebody who watches the video, all right? Um, with that, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahashah, Bahashim, Wawakar Kadash. Okay. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone teaching this word and truth. Okay. And uh, I'll see you all on the next one. All right. Shalom.